Camp in Lackawanna County is following the fighting in the Middle East closely. Counselors and campers were able to Skype with the JCC staff member who is in Israel right now visiting family. Newswatch 16's Amanda Kelly joins us live from the Pocono Newsroom with the story. Amanda. Well, John, that Skype to Israel today with campers from the JCC's Camp Daleville was brief, but one that these young campers were very engaged with as they learned about the serious situation in the Gaza Strip. Kids here at JCC Camp Daleville took a break from this sunny afternoon to focus on something much more serious, the fighting in the Gaza Strip. Campers while visiting her family in Israel, near where this war between Israel and Hamas is going on. We wanted them to, to understand that there are families, you know, just like their families, that are, are living under this threat, that are trying to go about their lives. Riga's Skype connection was brief, but she said where she is, most people are trying not to let this conflict with the terror group Hamas interfere with daily life. Most people are trying to live their lives, the regular lives. They go to camp just like you. People go to work, but everybody is on alert. Campers of all ages sat waving the Israeli flag. I learned like what goes on in Israel, and that's a lot different from here in the United States. Counselor Sasha Gaithman says she's supposed to visit Israel next winter. I saw on the news what was going on in Israel, but like talking to Rika made it seem a lot more real and was a lot really scary. Schaefer's communication was broken up as missiles threatened to hit near her in Israel at any moment. She says her community only gets a very short warning to get to safety. Everybody is on alert. You know, in some places you have only 15 seconds to get to shelter. Campers say they were surprised at how difficult it was to talk with Rika because of the war. There's not much connection, so it was hard to um, put her up on Skype. While her co-workers wish her and the rest of Israel peace very soon. We hope to continue to connect with Rika and, and hope to hear better news that, uh, that, that there'll be a ceasefire, that... Uh, the, the peace talks will resume. The JCC camp says they stand in solidarity with Israel and they hope to see their friend Rika back in the U.S. safely very soon. Amanda Kelly, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in the Post.